Welcome back to Tamaron's Tactics. This is AI Warfleet Command Gameplay Tutorial Part 21. We're a little bit low on energy, and we're and uh, but we're doing okay on metal. We're just a little bit low on energy, so we don't want to go too crazy building more turrets. And as these pop up, you know, it's going to dip into our energy reserves anymore. A good way to uh, get back that energy is by deleting turrets that you already have. And I'd love to get rid of some of these turrets here in Pabonmati because we have an awful lot. But before we do that, we really need to get rid of all this danger here in Jodre, Pelea, and Asau. So let's continue our attempt to neuter them. Asau still has uh, a warp gate and a special forces guard post. And there's also a distribution node there that I wouldn't mind popping. So let's go ahead and go into Asau with our our uh, human raid starships next. They're at our home world. I'm going to grab them. They should all be grouped together. There we go. And I'm going to send them all to Asa. I'm also going to grab my assault transports, which have my fleet in them, here at uh, Jetherfen, and I'm going to ask them to go to Pabonmati. I'm going to now that the uh, raid starships have arrived in Asau, I'm going to ask them to go down here to the corner of the system. In the very corner down here is a Special Forces Guard Post. I'll right-click it, and right next to that is a distribution node, which will give us between 600,000 and 800,000 metal, and we'll destroy it. I'll go ahead and shift and right-click that to give them a, uh, you know, a waypoint order to destroy both. Once those starships are done with those two objectives, I want them to come up here to this corner and destroy this warp gate, and then if they're, if they're lucky enough to still be alive at that point, I'd like them to return to Pabonmati. Okay, so if I hold down shift, there's their objectives. Destroy two targets here, one target here, and then return to Bonmiti for repairs. Good luck. Okay, so now that that's done, we've, we've set our order for our, our, uh, our assault transports to move to Bonmiti. Let's also grab these two translocator ships, which we made by consuming these rare Zampite asteroids here. We've got these two Spirecraft translocators. We're going to move them to Pabamati as well, rejoining the fleet. Now, we're going to need to do some more scouting soon, and we don't have any scouts left over. Okay, so let's go ahead and use science to unlock another uh, ship type, and that's the Tier 2 Scout. They only cost 500 knowledge to unlock the second scout, and that's all the scouts will ever need this game. We will never need to unlock the Tier 3 scout. All right. There's the distribution node being destroyed, so that means that we've we've uh, completed Objective 2 here in Asau. Our raid starships still have quite a bit of health left over, and you can see they're much, much faster than their pursuers. There's an awful lot of ships here, and I'm worried that they won't be able to destroy the warp gate before they are themselves destroyed. So we'll see. Here's the warp gate. It only has 400 health, and of course our raid starships can shoot right through that force field. They're slowed by the uh, by the aura of that gravitic command station. You see how slow our starships are moving? They're normally much, much faster than that. So there's their range. I'm holding down Z so we can see the range of their guns. All right, and they're taking fire. Looks like two of them were killed very, very quickly, but they just barely managed to destroy it before being killed themselves. So operation successful, even though they did not escape. That's fine. Right. We're at low energy, actually zero energy. And if we're at zero energy, then nothing's gonna work right. We, our turrets won't fire and that kind of thing. So we need to get some energy right now. And the only way to do that is either by building another energy collector, destroying turrets or things that take energy, or by building matter converters. We're going to just drop a few matter converters here at the home world. Now, these are not something that you want to use very much because they're not a really good deal and they kind of mess up your economy a little bit. But we have a lot of metal right now and we have a really good metal income. So I'm going to press B, go to the Econ tab, and right here is the matter converter. It costs 200 metal per second, but it gives you an extra 50,000 energy. All right. It's not a great deal. It's expensive, okay? But right now we kind of need it. I'm going to put two of them right there. And let's go ahead and, and pause the construction of our starships here at the uh, starship constructor there at our homeworld. 
just until these energy constructors are up. Because I want these engineers to focus on this right now. None of our turrets are going to function as long as we're in low energy. And that could mean big trouble if we get attacked right now. And as you can see, we've got attacks coming in in just a couple of seconds. There we go. There's our energy back up. So now we're good to go. I can turn this starship constructor back on. Get back to pumping out those three human raid starships. Now that we've got the hacker in our assault transports, we're going to grab them and ask them all to go into Jojo. As soon as they appear, I'm going to pause it, I'll grab them, and we're going to move them behind the design server right there. Okay? Unpause. Once they're there, I can press the unload button to instantly unload all of the ships in there, which I'll do. And then we can grab our transports and move them back out of the area so that they don't take any fire. Let's also grab our hacker and move him a little bit behind our fleet. We also need to move the mobile space docks to the appropriate position so they're not dancing there. We'll go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to ask them to build those rail pods. Now that we're in position, I'm going to choose the hacker, and we're going to use a design downloader. Okay, let's check our hacking. We have 126. The next AI design download is going to cost us 50 hacking of that, so let's do it. Design download right here. That's going to start our five-minute timer. Instead of the offensive beachhead, we're just going to have our entire fleet sit right next to the server. Okay, we've got our, our mobile space docks right here. I'll spread them out a little bit so that they're in a nice, nice position there, and they'll repair the fleet while they fight. We shouldn't really see any losses, except for the rail pods, which will kill themselves, of course. The majority of the ships that appear because of the hack are going to appear right here, and we will destroy them before they actually have the opportunity to fire upon us, really, or, or assemble themselves to create a, an uh, offense. You see? They're dead as soon as they pop out. That hack's going to take five minutes, and we really don't need to worry about anything at all with all the repairs and everything we have all set up there. It's, it's fine, okay? So, so let's go ahead and look into doing some more scouting. We've got 25 scouts now, okay? If I just select just my Tier 2 scouts, those are faster, much, much faster. They go way faster than the Tier 1 scouts. So let's grab the Tier 2 scouts, and holding down Shift now, I'm going to ask them to go here, then here, then here, then here, then here. I want to know what's in that entire cluster. And those super fast scouts will probably be able to tell me. See how much faster they are? Since they're moving as a tight group, if they do take fire, that's, they're, they're also going to all progress past the, the area where that, that, uh, that fire is all at the same time. There's a bunch of our friendly Dysons taking on some foes there. They're in the tractor beam. Okay. There go our scouts to Murdoch. There's still 14 left. Here's Zanglin. And then next we have Kalail, which we've never scouted. Next is Bohawa. And that's it. That's going to be the end of their little journey. So we got two more scouts there. A Zenith power generator, it has a bunch of tier 5 turrets, which indicates to me that one of the enemy homeworlds is very close to here. Okay, Let's look at Bohawa. There's a raid eye. Those are also usually very, very close to the enemy homeworlds. This is an enemy homeworld. There we are. You see it says at the bottom there, Command AI Home in purple. Okay, in the middle where we see the AI command station. That's one of the AI homeworlds. So... <laughs> okay, so we've discovered one of the AI homeworlds. If we can destroy all, of, uh, all the enemy base here in Bohawa, that is one of our two opponents right here. Okay. So the other one is probably up in here or maybe on the other, nearby here, probably over here. I'll bet you one of the other AI homeworlds is right over here. So let's go back to our base. We've got 24 scouts. 
we unpause it just a moment, it'll probably pop out that last one. Yep, there's all our scouts. So I'm going to pause it. Let's grab the 20, the 19 Scout 2s, and we're going to ask them to go here and then down to here. We'll unpause and let them do a little scouting. Masao has Tier 5 turrets, indicating that that's going to be very close to an enemy homeworld, so it's probably right here. Yes, indeed. AI home. Okay, so Oomperfall and Bohawa are the two AI homeworlds. Let's set them both as priority zero. Okay, I hit P0 and put them both on there. That's what I like to do when I find those enemy homeworlds, all right? So that's very, very good knowledge. We know exactly where we need to strike to kill our opponents, and we can we can definitely do it from our leaping from our uh, our post here in Jetherfen. We could we could potentially do that. Okay. The AI just blew a tachyon bomb here in Jodre, which decloaks all ships in this system. So our salt transports are decloaked, and our hacker is decloaked. Okay. So if you could get over here and destroy this downloader before the 45 seconds is up, then that would abort the hack and we would fail. Okay. But that's not going to happen. See all the rail pods fire and then those mobile space docks repair them before they destroy themselves, you see. Because they're destroying everything so quickly when they pop out instead of continually firing, you see. That'll generate the anti, the, the uh, after hack response, which is going to spit out a whole bunch of ships right here. But as you see, we just, by destroying them so quickly, they're unable to formulate any offense against us, and we just instantly kill them all. Okay, so success. And now if we went to our home world of Vazzy and hit dock, we can add that Zenith Paralyzer to our queue. So it'll start spitting them out here and fortifying those. They are a very weak attack, but inflicts temporary paralysis against targets of hits. Great wing combined with other ship types. All right. So that's it for this video. You're watching Tamaron's Tactics. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.